Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Let's get into things here. We have Wolf Striker, Rogue Bane, and Curse Leaf. So we have a couple of standouts when it comes to health right here immediately. And I also like the fact that Wolf Strike has a fairly decent amount of attack. In fact, he is tied for our top attack. I think a front runner has emerged. Now he has Red Dragon, which I have mixed feelings about, but he also has Greedy, which is by far my favorite trait. So it will be Wolf Strike for this run. So our stick is gonna give us plus five dodge and minus five HP. Despite that, we still have 91 HP. So I am quite optimistic about this run. 636 gold is not even enough to get us an upgrade on our attack. So we're kind of getting really far along now in our progression. We could upgrade our health, but this particular character has so much health that I think I'm just gonna go ahead and steer clear of that. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, drop. Here we go into the goblin forest. Greedy immediately making its presence felt. Love it, love it, love it. And there are so many peace orbs around that I'm just gonna go ahead and collect every single one and attempt to keep that run intact. Now we're starting to run a little low here. Only see one more orb on the screen, so it is going to quickly become advantageous to start killing stuff but before that we will get a little bit more out of our pacifist run one more peace orb and with only one more on the screen i think it's time to start murdering and we are a necromancer so we are going to start spawning our little necromancies our little skeleton warriors and we can trigger alarms as well we can bust crates we can kill goblins it is just a wonderful day here in the Goblin Forest. So that guy just needs one little smack to the head and he'll be dead. And so he is. Head over this way, I see a key that I cannot reach. But I see a goblin that I can trounce on. There we go. Another alarm and we are off. Moving forward. Taking advantage of everything that we can here on this first level. Definitely going to do that. Absolutely, always gonna take the opportunity to get a few gems. Another alarm down there that's gated by spikes. I don't like the look of that, so I'm not going to go down there. But yeah, this is really a good run so far. Two enemies for a key, absolutely. Not only does it get us two enemies we could potentially kill, it gets us a key. So it's kind of a win-win situation in this early stage of the game. A lot of stuff going on down here, but nothing uh, that is beyond my abilities at this point, at this juncture. And so we are going to keep absolutely destroying everything. I mean, we are at the point with this character, or with our game, uh, that this is a trivial level. I mean, this level is absolutely trivial. Uh, this is not something that's going to kill me, uh, unless I just put the controller down and walked away. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's one of those levels that's just kind of a formality. I mean, these guys, even when they nail me, are barely hurting me. Uh, so, you know, we can pour out some daggers and kind of just absolutely destroy people. And we'll take our recharge. We will kill this last goblin, grab this crate, and we will descend now into the autumn forest. So it's been a weird last week or so for me. I've taken roughly say 10 days off of, of video games and just the internet in general. I just, I kind of just wanted to, to detox on technology for a few days. And uh, it's been a really nice change. Now I, I say I've taken time off games, but that's not 100% true. I've actually been playing Minecraft with my son on uh, the PlayStation 3. Uh, so I haven't 100% taken time off of games, uh, but all of the games that I, I enjoy as hobbies, uh, I have been uh, kind of just taking a break from them, just trying to see exactly what my life looks like when I'm not playing games or doing things on the internet. And uh, I, I kind of liked it. You know, it wasn't a bad thing, uh, for sure. I enjoyed the time that I had away from uh, video games and whatnot, and uh, enjoyed the time I had away from the internet. And I felt like I needed it to sort of recharge. Uh, you know, there's just so much stuff going on, especially around the, the hobby of, of playing video games. 
uh, that I just I just needed some time away, and, and it really was nice to have that time and, and recharge. You know, the the Gamergate stuff is just at this point it's beyond my ability to care about it. Um, I just I, I feel like I just can't I can't devote the energy uh, to caring about it one way or the other. Um, I, I just I've I've hit this place in my life where. Uh, I don't like things that add stress to my life. Uh, I, I don't. I don't crusade after causes uh, if those causes are going to bring me a whole lot of pain. And you know, part of that I, I know uh, certainly someone would tell me is my uh, my privilege at, at work. And uh, you know, maybe it is. Uh, but I just can't. I can't let that stress into my life. And it, it's just been really weird. You know, basically giving up on Twitter. Uh, you know, giving up on a lot of the things, not give, I guess I haven't given up on Twitter, but I certainly don't pursue it anymore uh, the way that I once did. It, it's just been exhausting, just trying to sort of keep pace with all this stuff, keep up with all this stuff. And, and I just, I, I can't, I can't do it. Um, you know, I am not allowing this to push me out of the hobby that I, that I love, certainly. Um, but it has just, it's created an atmosphere that I don't necessarily like. Uh, we should probably hit some daggers here. Oh, this is one of those levels where my abilities are changed. I didn't even notice. But yeah, you know, uh, over on Nitro Beer, we talked a little bit about Gamergate uh, here and there. And, you know, it's it, it has exhausted me at this point. Um, it's one of those things where if, if you really care about journalistic integrity and in video games, uh, you need to, you need to file in under another banner at this point, uh, because it's just ridiculous. I mean, uh, you know, on the one hand, I, I, I understand where the legitimate people who are involved in this are coming from the fact that they, they are concerned. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it, it, it reeks of a shield. Um, it reeks of, of, you know a disingenuous attempt to legitimize, uh, you know, hate. And and if, if that's not what you are, if you are legitimate, this is what I think about you. And that should tell you a, a little bit about where your movement is. Uh, this is what you're associated with. You know, when, on uh, the, one of the last free-to-plays that I was on uh, podcast, I, uh, I, I made an analogy that I perhaps kind of ham-fisted, but... You know, back in the 30s uh, in America, there was a Nazi party uh, here that was very politically uh, politically active and had a lot of, you know, very specific views that I believe that all of their members probably firmly believed in. Uh, but there was a certain point when the American Nazi party realized that they could no longer file in underneath the banner of Nazi because of some of the things that were going on in Europe. And I think in a lot of ways, uh, that is where Gamergate is right now. I think there are a lot of people there who have been fooled into thinking this is a genuine movement who really need to uh, stake their claim to a different piece of land because uh, the well is poisoned here. And, and I think you just have to move on. I mean, you know, it, this is just one dumb guy on the Internet saying stupid things. But, uh, you know, this is how I feel. This is, uh, you know, right or wrong. Uh, I, I do feel bad, I guess you'd say, for, for not engaging and for not trying to put uh, these people into their place, uh, especially, you know, when it comes to the hate and the death threats and, and all that sort of stuff. I I just don't have the strength for it. You know, I, I, have a, I have to be concerned with myself first and foremost, and then I can try to save the world after that. Um, and, and right now, I'm just not mentally in a place... Uh, to devote myself to all of those different forces that are trying to pull people in different directions. You know, I play video games to relax. I play video games as a way to get away from stress. And yeah, for the last couple of weeks, couple of months, uh, it's been nothing but stress. And so, yeah, I, I feel myself detaching more and more from the hobby. And I think that's a really bad thing. Really bad thing. All right. Enough of all that gibberish. Let's uh, concentrate here on our run. Um, you know, I do think that there's a lot to say about Gamergate. I don't feel that I'm uh, necessarily the person to say it. Um, there are a lot of people out there who are 
uh, fighting the good fight, and I wish I could be one of those, but I, I just don't have the strength uh, right now to dedicate myself to that. And, you know, it's 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 kind of sad to say, and, and yes, I understand that I have the privilege of not needing to dedicate myself to that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have no excuse. I just am am not able to engage on the, the proper level. Uh, I'm just not. Yeah, but I am able uh, able to engage on uh, this level of vertical drop heroes. So why don't we move on from all of that and free ourselves a barbarian? There we go. So of course the barbarian's going to do some nice uh, work for us. Our thief uh, paid out completely, so I'm super happy about that. And uh, you know, with oh my goodness, thank you, paladin. Uh, he just freed that uh, freed. Oh, a mimic. He just freed that uh, additional character for me, that thief. Um, yeah, the paladin is is kind of one of those cool characters where he just sort of wrecks stuff. Look at all these mimics. Stupid mimics. Die from my red dragon. Uh, you know, love-hate relationship with the red dragon. Uh, I think that the red dragon is uh, really good at killing these normal enemies, but uh, doesn't do a whole lot in other places. This has just been mimic central, huh? Is that just the idea behind this level? Did I miss the uh, text at the top that was like, there be mimics here? Something like that. So this run is just ridiculous right now. I mean, we are so powerful. Um, it's just beyond me. I mean, I, I, I think uh, I am super happy with where we are right now. Uh, this, this, this is one of the better runs that I've had. So I hope that uh, I hope this is going to go places, uh, certainly. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and recharge, and then we are going to go places. Namely, we are going to go to the next level. The Forsaken Tomb it is. Rescue imprisoned heroes to gain a small XP boost and no temporarily fight on your side. All right. I do have to be a little more careful when I come down, and there's one of the green things here, you know, making sure I know what's going on. You know, for instance, that uh, that whole level, uh, that, that one level, I had changed abilities and didn't even realize it until I tried to use one of my abilities. So, you know, got to be at least a little bit careful about what you're doing. So now we are hitting that period where the enemies do start to take a little bit more work in order to kill, and that's okay. That's just sort of what happens. Uh, but that just means I'm not going to be as... Um, I'm not going to be as obsessed with killing them. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, kill that Dark Sniper for that bounty, sure. Uh, we can go ahead and call a Red Dragon to our side and see if he will help us out with that Sniper. Go on down, Red Dragon. There you go. Thank you very much, Red Dragon. And that is going to get us an additional 200 gold. We are absolutely racking up the gold in this run. One of the better gold runs, considering that we are only on uh, level 4, is it? Uh, that, that To already have... 1500 gold that's just crazy 19 keys means that uh, we absolutely will be opening this chest for sure gonna give us a little more gold a little more experience let's see eight coins to restore your hp to full well my hp is already full so two chests back to back here definitely gonna do that uh this the amount of keys that we have i mean i need to make sure that i don't die with 18 keys or, or 20 keys uh because that's that's all of those resources that I didn't take advantage of. You know, I've got to take advantage of those keys. I mean, if I leave those on the table, that is a big deal. That is a, uh, a bad thing. I don't want to leave those on the table for certain. That's 16 additional power-ups or gold that I could have had that I, I didn't end up with. There we go. Uh, the power of flight, no thank you. Might as well kill this guy since we're in a position to do it. Oh, the red dragons just do an absolute work over there. Murdering, murdering. And this is where the red dragon shines. I mean, this is what he needs to be doing every single time. Uh, deploying him midway through a level and just letting him absolutely wreck people. Uh, so we will go down here. Thank you, Rising Platform, for making this more difficult. Uh, we will take that, we will take that, and we will take that. Take all of it. Of course, I think the red dragon eats power-ups if you're not careful. Is that it? I think he has a little caveat thing there, so uh, we've got some daggers, so we might as well use them, you know. No reason not to. There we go, and that'll make this a quick and easy finish. And that'll make this level a quick and easy level. We're going to take a little bit of damage if we want to get that chest. Uh, at this point, I just don't think it's worth it. Uh, looks like our restoration shine shrine was destroyed, so we are moving on to level 5, the Mushroom Caves, with the amazing uh, Frank Klopaki-esque rift here 
I love this song. I absolutely love it. Now, I don't want to rush too much, but I also don't want to dilly-dally too much either. There we go. I thought I could reach that. I'm not going to be triggering alarms on purpose, but that doesn't mean that I won't uh, clean up if some happen to get triggered. And she is looking for her diamond ring. And luckily we have so many keys that uh, opening chests is uh, not a big deal. So we are going to do it wherever possible. Okay, and uh, that old red dragon's going to come on and help us. Thank you. Going to have to take damage to get through there, but I was hoping to get the diamond ring. Alas, we did not. Uh, we are at the point now where we'd have to come back up to bring her the ring. Uh, you know, that is a lava. Have I ever seen lava in this game before? I know I've seen fire. That might be the first time I've ever actually seen lava. Oh my goodness, lava's... Okay, that was draining. That scared me a bit. Diamond ring. Nope, health potion. Oh well. Okay, not seeing a whole lot more chests here. Oh my goodness, there's, so there's lava down there, so I think I'm just going to have to take that damage. Just got to eat it. All right. There we go. Let's uh, bring some help to the party. Sure, why not? Dragon. There we go. More keys, more keys, more keys. Okay, so I missed a chest over there, which is probably the chest that contains the red dragon, or the, the red dragon. Uh, I wish a chest could contain a red dragon. Probably the chest that contains the diamond ring, so we will uh, probably not be getting the diamond ring. Even more keys, 19 keys now. This is just getting uh, insane at this point. Oh, a poorly timed jump. Uh, man, if I had the diamond ring, I would go back to the top. What do we have here? Did I just get the diamond ring? I couldn't see it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can't be sure that I actually did get the diamond ring, so uh, I am not going to go up just yet. Okay, he just says a little bit of flavor text every time you open a chest. Okay. I see. Daggers. Oh, he jumped one. And he's dead. All right, so... I don't think it's worth it to go back up at this point. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't think it's worth it. So we're going to descend down further into the depths. Every time a minion dies, you will see a swarm of flies. Oh, that's my favorite thing in the world, besides fire hate the flies because there's a psychological effect with the flies for me because even though the flies don't do that much damage I just the fact that I'm getting hit by them and knocked around by them it, it just puts me mentally in in a bad place where I think I'm doing worse than I am because I'm getting hit by like a dozen flies all right so still doing well whoops I killed a squid All right, and the squids are the bad ones. They're the ones that shoot the homing ink blot things at you, I do believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, red dragon. Let's red dragon it for sure. Wow, okay. That dragon is absolutely destroying stuff. That's good. Oh, yeah, keep going, dragon. Keep going. Just racking up the kills. Well over 200 kills. Flies swarming everywhere. Oh, a guy with a shield. Have I seen a guy with a shield before? Getting to this weird place with the game where I'm like, have I even encountered this before? I don't know. Shrine of Health. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, we have so much money, though. I wish I could have gotten to that uh, vendor on that merchant on the last level. Hate that I missed him. I wish another one would spawn. Although, if a merchant doesn't spawn, I can think of worse things than having 2,000 gold to spend at the beginning of the next run. All right, so we're almost to the bottom now. Tons of spiders, tons of flies, uh, tons of heat-seeking ink blots. Oh, these guys go stealth. Oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, you know, sure, why not? 
the number of enemies on the screen, that seemed like a good deal at the moment. All right, so we are almost to the bottom here. This has seemed like a, an unusually long level. Uh, yeah, Paladin will definitely wreck some stuff. Do your downward thrust. Thank you, buddy. Don't don't let yourself die. Okay, two chests down here and a wizard. That seems like a worthwhile spend spenditure of keys. Uh, so didn't need to do that at all. That was a dumb move. Come on, unstealth. Oh God, it's my arch enemy. No, you you will die. You will die. You will not murder. Yes, I have triumphed over the spider queen. Okay, now just don't get killed. Okay, all right. Okay, good. He's shooting at my knight or my paladin there, and everything's okay, and we win. All right, to the next level. We did it. We did it. It's raining. Cool. Rainstorms make water higher. Hates the flames, hates the fire. I like it, because I hate the flames and the fire as well, so here we go. And some place to spend our money. Smasher. Okay, plus 50% damage against enemies with full HP, so that, that gives us one really powerful leadoff hit. Uh, yeah, you know what? I like it. It's a trait. Um, I do enjoy purchasing traits, so we absolutely will take Smasher. And we'll spend some keys. Again, another frivolously spent key, another wasted key. I guess when you're swimming in keys the way I am, I suppose uh, that... There isn't really any impetus on uh, being careful. All right, zombies. So what was the thing with zombies? They come back to life? I can't remember. There's... Wow, okay. Damn these traps. I remember there's a gimmick with zombies. I remember some gimmick with zombies. Oh, okay, good. I got my gem. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Grim Reapers, zombies. I don't make it this deep into the game very often, so I am sort of taking it all in uh, to a certain extent. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing super well, so let's bring out a red dragon. I definitely could use a health potion and or a level up. Getting pretty close to a level up. So I hope that my red dragon will sort of facilitate that for me. Oh, got to get out of the way. Whew. Ow. All right, another key and another trait here. Force Blast. I, Force Blast I like as a concept. Uh, it breaks blocks below you, damages enemies. I don't know. I want to get up over that 200 gold, 2,000 gold range. I just don't know if this is worth it. I just don't know if it's worth it. I'm sure that it probably is, in fact, worth it. But I just, I just don't know. I, I, I almost don't want to flood myself with too many abilities and traits because I want everything that I have to be really good. Uh, so that I'm pulling characters every single time that are uh, that are well suited towards good runs. You know, I don't want to pick up any of those lame runs in there, or lame characters in there that are going to cause odd runs. If I get characteristics that are going to kind of go against my playstyle, then all of a sudden I'm going to have some poor runs and I'm not going to enjoy myself, and I'm not going to do well. More importantly, perhaps than enjoying myself is is you know doing halfway decent. Uh, the boomerang throws a bladed boomerang that returns to you after it hits replenish replete does not uh, does not return if it's used against bosses and it, it keeps the charge if you catch it it sounds so cool yeah we'll go for it I mean whether I'm spending money here or spending money in the tower I'm still investing in uh, you know I'm still investing in gameplay you know I'm investing in a specific run uh, you know when I get a boomerang, that'll be the run that I invested in, or I'm investing in every single run by getting a little more health or a little more power. It's it's a tough call. I mean, I'm not gonna not gonna pretend I know which is the better tactic here. I'm just gonna avoid killing the uh, the blind guardsman there uh, if I can. So just so many keys, I, I absolutely have to go. I'm getting some weird crackle. I don't know if that ow 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 ow. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I almost went back up into... The Ooh, what the hell is that? Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna recruit some help, uh, as well as a dragon that is probably going to die. Hello, Magus. Okay, so the, the zombie kind of just like... Okay, Bloodlust. That's definitely not a trait I'm taking. There's probably some meta where Bloodlust is really good, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so the red dragon didn't do all that well. 
So let's just try to take out some of these guys here. Just try to thin thin the herd a bit, if you will. And then we're going to figure out exactly what we need to do for uh, the Grey Witch. Oh, she is spawning zombies. Okay. Oh, no, Grey Witch. I was going to say I'm too smart to be killed by you, but apparently I'm not. So, uh, level 7. Pretty good run overall. I really think we did uh, a nice run there. That I just I got sloppy at the end. I got sloppy at the end. I didn't realize there was that uh, Noel down there, and he kind of uh, kind of did a number on me. I'll be honest. Um, yeah, I, I feel I, I didn't I didn't have any you know traits left on the table or any abilities left on the table. I used all my abilities. I used all my keys. I feel pretty good about that run. I mean, I think I got everything out of it that I could. And with sixteen hundred and fifty nine gold, I think we have a pretty good leg up on the next run as well. So the first time seeing the Grey Witch, and she did indeed claim my uh, immortal soul. However, we did defeat the Spider Queen, so I am pretty happy about that as she has been a thorn in my side very, very often. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. This has been Vertical Drop Heroes HD. And until next time, take it easy.